don't think Stephen has left it tempting, but it really is too thin to contemplate. This is this. He could leave the match for his opponent. Could have put the cue ball somewhere near this right hand side cushion and that maybe a half chance from the right, but well, that was, you think, possibly suicidal because uh, it had to be an excellent chance left if he missed it. Not very often that uh, there is a time, John, that you put all your eggs into one basket on something as difficult as that. Eight. Nine. That's not the best position of shot. Or a thin cut on this blue. And he's missed it. Nine. So that shot that we thought could cost Matthew Stevens the match. It was not as costly as we thought. Three. Four. Eight. Twenty-five points behind at the moment. Nine. He's played up for the blue, but... He's a little bit short of pace. You need a bit of luck here. Oh, well, he can hold it. Or oh, can he? Can he hold it? 14. Is he on a red? It's doubtful. Can he hit the this one? He seems to think he can. 15. But he didn't play it with a tremendous amount of confidence and still faced with a tough shot to continue. Matthew Stevens, 15. He's got to judge it well to cover the red by the green, and I think he has done. That's a good shot. He's taking this pot on. Missed it. And he's left one. 18 points behind. Well, that was uh, a reasonable chance for Matthew. Unfortunately, didn't really get... Uh, the angle right. Go. Now, Paul Hunter still looking a little shaky. It's just a matter of getting the right angle. Both easy parts. I think it's one I take on. Change of plan, left corner, but for me, it's got to be the right corner. If it doesn't go in, the red should come away from the pocket. Five. A tough part. Oh, Maybe. Five. Having missed it, he caught the middle knuckle, he's not got position. These reds are going to all finish up in the open. Isn't of the highest quality, but that's very understandable considering the 
state of the match. But one of them is going to produce a really good safety shot in a minute. Now, is this it? It looks pretty good to me. That's a snooker, I think, on all four reds. Well, it's not a snooker on the reds, as you can see. If he misses it, I think he may be on his way home. Big shot. Well, what a pot under the utmost pressure. He built himself up for it and cued it like a dream. Well played. Eight. Just enough angle on this red to come back for the black to the same pocket. Nine. Easy red to the right centre, but it's imperative he gets good control on the cue ball. He needs to finish good on this colour, whether it be blue 17. or pink. It's not going to be blue, and it's not pink. He needs to finish about there to be on the red. No further than that. Cue ball needs to travel a little bit more to be perfect. He's on the red, 22. but he's not perfect. As he pots the red, he cannons into the black. 23. That's uh, good with the winning shot. He just wants to leave himself an angle on the yellow here to get behind the green. Twenty-eight. Well, wouldn't you believe it? That must have been a bit of tightness, John. Well, to be honest with you, Ray, I'm amazed. He was perfect on the road. Oh, well, things can go wrong. We're in a big high-pressure situation here, but he should have left more angle on that yellow. And Paul Hunter knows now that he'll be coming back to the table. Got it safe. Kiss the blue full in the face. Seven points in front. He needs the green, brown and blue. He needs another good pot here. Now, now he's missed it. He'll be hoping it runs safe. It hasn't. Three. I don't think the brown would go past the blue to the right corner. The smile on Paul's face tells me it wouldn't. That was. And that's only due to the tension of the moment. It's on the cue ball behind the blue, but the brown's going to come down towards this corner pocket. And he's uh, made nearly as bad a mess of it. At least the cue ball's on the cushion. And I may just have nudged the black there. It's very awkward, John. Yes, he'll do well to get this safe with Paul Hunter. Paul? No, he played the slow and he finished it crossing it. Oh, so close. Paul Hunter, four. So close, he's left the blue. Not easy. His cue ball, though, down towards this corner, depending on the pace he hits it. Hit it over thin. That was a half chance. Good safety. Little shake of the head from Matthew that just confirms what I'm saying. This is not straightforward to get this safe.
Well, this will cut, and the cube will automatically have come down this end, so we'll have a chance surely for Paul Hunter here to get through to the quarters. There's one. Now then, five. Comes ever. In a situation like this, when you want nice, easy position, the cue ball's gone near the cushion. A tough pink. Very tough. For a quarter final. So, so close. Just pace kept that out. Had a chance for Matthew to pop the pink, but no chance, you feel, of getting on the black. Oh, I didn't just look in. I think a little bit less pace, it may well have gone. He's having to play a little bit of a stun. This makes the pot a lot more difficult. What a pot! What a great shot that Thanks. is, and that's as good as he could get on the black. Brilliant. And in the circumstances, the best shot of this match so far. The replay yeah. showed you how straight he was on the point. A very, very courageous shot. Keeps Matthews Stevens' hopes alive. He's one behind at 12-11. Paul trying to bring Reds into play here off the green. Well, he meant to do it with the cue ball, not the green. Oh, hands up, one. Damn me. It's a struggle for both out there. I think he's nearly got away with it, John. And the only one possible is to the far right corner. Does this one go to the middle? Does it go to the corner? Nothing's easy, that's for sure. Well, can he? Well, he doesn't think he can, so he's playing a cuss on this red to the left corner. It's not there, so... How fortunate was Paul Hunter then? Missed the green, the green smashed the reds open and didn't leave anything easy. Let's put it that way for Marky. Look at this. How can you expect to get away with that? Well, and that's why we say it's a cruel game, Snooker. It's been a little bit rocky. Seven. Yeah, well, he all the screws for this blue. It's thinner than he would have liked. He's having to play another cannon. Killed that better. Got through that nicely. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-four. Paul Hunter. Twenty-four. Well, Paul Hunter was moving around the table there quite rapidly as if he was trying to G himself into saying, come on, this is the chance, this is the chance. And uh, Mr. Red here, that wasn't a gimme, but certainly wouldn't expect him to miss it. Yeah, I think a little less pace that Red had certainly gone in. There's just a lot of tension in the arm. It's understandable. Well, certainly is anybody's match and uh, the tension is starting to show. Matthew Twelve. Stevens produced a couple of great shots to get within one frame of Paul Hunter. 18. Well, this is the shot when Paul Hunter was in and he missed that allowed Matthew to come to the table. 
19. He looks to be queuing better. He's kept control of his cue action better in these tense moments than Paul. Twenty-six. Could have been better. Tricky green along the top cushion is all he's left with. Just caught the top Stevens, cushion. From the Twenty-six. He was a little unlucky there to be hampered with his cueing. I think if he hadn't have been, he'd have posted that green. Paul who comes to the table, eight points behind. But you can what? see the problems. He's got two reds on either side cushion. Where's the cue ball going? Ooh, very close, the middle pocket. Six. So any red on the left-hand side of the table can't be potted. Well, I'm surprised he took that on. Four hundred six. Yeah, I think in these situations you need a cool head, and there's one or two shots that Paul has played, and that red highlights it for me. He's getting a little bit desperate. Anything to the left is going to be unpotable. Paul's got to juice this one correctly. Will Matthew be tempted by the pot here? The only red he could leave is the one he's playing. Couldn't get much closer, could it? It's not there. Is he taking it on? Here he is. Oh, what a great pot. Matthew Stevens, Paul. Chance for Paul Hunter. There's nothing smooth in this long potting from Paul Hunter at the moment. One. Six. of tension that you get a kick. He's 15 in front. Ooh, just ending. Dry smile from Paul Hunter. He knows he's got to prepare himself for a deciding claim. Great, great 24 frame to level at 12 frames each. The red's going very close to the corner pocket, but he's got a good cue ball. But that might not stop Matthew Stevens taking this red on. 18 points behind, he looks at the scoreboard as he walks down to this end of the table. What a tough pot. On. Well, to hit the ball that well, under the severest pressure, is tremendous. No margin of error whatsoever, and I think he might just be able to get past the yellow for the blue. Blue ball. He's nominated blue, so obviously he can get through to it. The brown could be the problem, though. Yeah. 
Just about on the yellow in a fashion. Does the brown fix past the black? I think it does. 12 points behind. Moves up to and including the pink for a place in the quarterfinal. Pete. Well, we'll soon know if the brown goes, John, because I think he's got the angle to get onto it. Eleven. And uh, he's got the cue power to screw the cue ball back, not to the left-hand side, and take it down towards the blue. Or we'll run round the angles, maybe. That was a more difficult shot, but he hasn't got... Fifteen. To the blue. Well, it was a good chance. It looks as though if he played it that way, the cue ball may run into the pink and develop the pink. But it's not there. Matthew Stevens, 15. And by missing the blue. Didn't get the camera on the pink, but it was a match-winning chance that's gone. But he's not left anything easy for Paul Hunter, who's three points in front, but he's two, he's blue and pink. I think that was worth a go. He knew the way the cue ball was going, and equally. Normally, if you play that shot and you hit it much too thick, there's a chance you'll leave it. Is he going to go behind the black or is he going to leave the blue on? He's left another chance for Matthew Stevens. It boils down to one shot and Paul Hunter knows that. It's not there. Where's the blue going to finish? Has it run safe or is it left on? It's run safe. It's run safe. The run of the balls at the moment, which can turn any match, is favouring Matthew Stevens at the moment. Do you think the crowd are getting involved, John? Well, how can they not get involved? Absolutely. This is drama of the highest order. We're in a theatre, and that's what we've got. Another chance for Matthew Stevens. Another difficult one. No. He nearly fluked it. Has he got away with it again? Maybe not this time. If Paul could pop the blue into the far right corner, stop the cue ball there, he'd have a shot at the pink. It's not there. It's run safe. If the black wasn't there, natural blue twice across onto the ball cushion, but the black could be in the way. Where's the cue ball going? Close. Close enough, I would have thought, to make Matthew's heart just skip a little beat. But it's a good safety shot now. I mean, believe it or not, this blue does cut in, but surely it's too risky. Now that 
wasn't an attempt. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? And oh. this time it's gone in. And Matthew could that Stevens be point. the shot that has turned the match Matthew Stevens' way? Paul Hunt, a little resignation there in that shake of the head. Matthew just needs the blue and pink. And he'll win this match 13-12 and go through to the quarter-final. Five? Well, always in a situation like this, you have to feel sorry for the loser, but this pink will put Paul Hunter out of the Embassy World Championship. The very, very gallant winner. Stevens, who hasn't had the best of time coming to Sheffield, and finally goes through in a titanic battle by 13 frames to 12 over his best pass.